Let's move on to agenda revision, submission of documents or motions to direct the city manager to add agenda items to future agendas. Councilmember Christensen. I would like to move, since we didn't discuss it last time, um, I would like to move that we uh, amend the vehicle parking regulations to create, to break out unregistered vehicles from um, junked and abandoned vehicles because unregistered vehicles are not junked and abandoned vehicles. Do I have a second? I will second that. All in favor of putting uh, this on the agenda, future agenda, say aye. 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 So raise your hand if it was an aye. All right, nay, nay. Mm. All right, it passes four to three with Councilmember Christensen, Councilmember Hidalgo Faring, Councilmember Rodriguez, and Councilmember Peck four, and the three of us against. All right, thank you very much. Okay, let's move on to city manager's COVID-19 report. All right, great, thank you for having me, uh, Longmont City Council and, and Harold. Um, you can go to the next slide. Just wanted to um, start off the presentation by giving an update on the CDPHE dial and mitigation metric. So just for everyone's reference, I uh, wanted to share the existing CDPHE di uh, dial levels. So these three um, criteria. So our two week cumulative incidence rate for um, COVID-19 is 124.1 cases per 100,000. And that really puts us right in the middle of um, the new cases uh, the incidence rate for a safer at home level two. Next. Let's go ahead then and move on to the consent agenda. Don, do you want to go ahead and read us the, uh, the I'll be happy Act. to, the Riot Act. It's a long one, Mayor. 9A is Ordinance 2020-44, a bill for an ordinance making additional appropriations for the expenses and liabilities of the city of Longmont. For the fiscal year beginning January 1st, 2020, public hearing and second reading scheduled for October 27th, 2020. 9B is Ordinance 2020-45, uh, a bill for an ordinance fixing and levying taxes upon the real and personal property within the city of Longmont for the year 2020 to pay budgeted city expenses for the 2021 fiscal year. Public hearing and second reading scheduled for October 27, 2020. 9C is Ordinance 2020-46, a bill for an ordinance fixing and levying taxes upon the real and personal property within the Longmont Downtown Development District for the year 2020 to pay budgeted expenses of the Longmont Downtown Development Authority for the 2021 fiscal year. Public hearing and second reading scheduled for October 27, 2020. 9C is Ordinance 2020-47, a bill for an ordinance conditionally approving the vacation of a pedestrian trail easement associated with the 110 Emory Minor subdivision plat and site plan generally located south of 2nd Avenue and east of Emory Street. Public hearing and second reading scheduled for October 27, 2020. 9E is Ordinance 2020-48, a bill for an ordinance amending Section 15.03.080 of the Longmont Municipal Code on zoning districts, measurements, and exceptions. Public hearing and second reading scheduled for October 27, 2020. 9F is Ordinance 2020-49, a bill for an ordinance approving the concept plan amendment for the Bone Farm rezoning and the annexation agreement located at 1313 Spruce Avenue. Public hearing and second reading scheduled for October 27, 2020. 9G is Ordinance 2020-50, a bill for an ordinance amending Title 10, Chapter 10.24, creating new Section 097 of the Longmont Municipal Code, creating a temporary prohibition on rental late fees due to COVID-19 related hardship. Public hearing and second reading scheduled for October 27, 2020. 9H is resolution R 2020-93, a resolution of the Longmont City Council approving the intergovernmental agreement between the city and the University of Colorado for socio-technical design for a middleware information exchange hub. 9I is resolution 2020-101, a resolution of the Longmont City Council approving the intergovernmental agreement between the City of Longmont, the County of Boulder, and the City of Boulder for the Bureau of Justice Edward Byrne Memorial Justice Assistance Grant Program Award. 9J is resolution 2020-102, a resolution of the Longmont City Council approving the business lease between the City and Dennis L. Blomker and Carolyn A. Blomker for 500 Kimbark Street, Suite 101. 9K is resolution 2020-103, a resolution of the Longmont City Council approving the intergovernmental agreement between the city and the Colorado Historical Records Advisory Board for grant funding for digitizing videotapes. 
And 9L is resolution 2020-104, a resolution in support of repealing the Gallagher Amendment by encouraging the people to vote yes on Amendment B. Temporary prohibition of rental late fees. Uh, Councilmember Martin. Um, I would like to pull 9F and 9L. All right, I'd like to, I'd like to pull, uh, where to go, where to go, uh, G, temporary prohibition of rental late fees. Uh, Councilmember Martin. Um, I would like to pull 9F and 9L. Councilmember Christensen. Um, I'd just like to pull uh, E for a brief comment. All right, great. Let's go ahead then and have a motion for the consent agenda, less F, L, G, and E. So moved. Second. All right, it's been moved by Councilmember Martin, seconded by Councilmember Darrell Faring. All in favor say aye. 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 Nay. All right, the motion passes unanimously. Let's move on to ordinances on second reading. D, ordinance 2020-41. It's less likely that someone will call in late. Um, ordinance 2020-41 is a bill for an ordinance authorizing the city of Walmart to lease the real property known as Vance Brand Municipal Airport Hangar Parcel H74 to Best Steel LLC. Can I have a motion for ordinance 2020-41? I'll move ordinance 2020-41. I'll second it. Oh, Councilmember Christensen second. will second, second it. Okay, great. All right, I'll uh, seeing no further discussion or debate. All in favor of passage of Ordinance 2020-41, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. All right, 2020-41 passes unanimously. Um, ordinance 2020-42 uh, is an ordinance authorizing the city of Walmart to lease the real property known as Vance Brand Municipal Airport Hangar Parcel H32 to George and Evelyn Grell. I'll move ordinance 2020-42. I'll Council second. Great. It was moved by uh, Dr. Waters, seconded by Councilmember Martin. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. Aye. All right. The motion carries unanimously. Can we have a motion? So moved. I'll second that, Joan. All right. All in favor of passage of ordinance 2020-37 say aye. 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 Opposed, aye. Say nay. opposed say nay. All right, that motion passes unanimously. Go ahead, ordinance 2020-1239, a bill for an ordinance amending chapter 6.70 of the Longmont Municipal Code to permit medical marijuana delivery. Can we have a motion for ordinance 2020-39, a bill for an ordinance amending chapter 6.70 of the Longmont Municipal Code to permit medical marijuana delivery? So moved. I'll second, second. That. All right, we'll go ahead. It was moved by Councilmember Martin. It was seconded by Mayor Pro Tem Rodriguez. All in favor of ordinance 2020-39, say aye. 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 Opposed? Say nay. All right. The motion counsels council count. Uh, the motion carries and passes unanimously. All right. Ordinance 2020-40, a bill for an ordinance amending chapters 2.68 on local licensing authority, 6.70 on marijuana stores, and chapter 9.60 on medical and recreational marijuana. All right. Is there a motion or debate or dialogue from council? I'll move ordinance 2020-40. Second. All right, it's been moved by Dr. Waters and seconded by Mayor, Mayor Pro Tem Rodriguez. Seeing no further discussion or debate, let's go ahead and vote. All in favor of Ordinance 2020-40, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. All right, that motion carries unanimously. Let's go ahead to last second ordinance is Ordinance 2020-43, a bill for an ordinance conditionally approving the vacation of access, utility, and drainage easements associated with the Highland subdivision generally located north of Highway 119 and west of County Line Road. Um, would someone like to offer a motion or offer dialogue or debate on this particular matter? All right, I'll preferably the motion first. I'll move the ordinance 2020-43. All right, the motion has been moved by Dr. Waters and seconded by Councilmember Martin. All right, so all in favor of ordinance 2020-43 say aye. 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 I, 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 <laughs> all right, the motion passes, and nays? All right, the motion passes unanimously. All right, now let's move on to items removed from the consent agenda. We're going to go ahead and take it in order. Councilmember Christensen, you had a comment on item E? Yeah, I just wanted to thank staff for catching this mistake. I know this is just a house cleaning, uh, housekeeping little thing, but it actually makes a huge difference, and I, I appreciate them 
catching both these items, uh, it'll make a big difference in the long run. Thank you. All right, great. Would you like to make a motion, Council Member? I move uh, Ordinance 2020-48. I'll second that. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. All right, the motion carries unanimously. Let's go ahead and Marsha, let's do yours now. F. Eight, let's go ahead and vote. We have a motion to pass Ordinance 2020-49. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. All right, it passes unanimously. And what was your other one, Councilor Martin? Um, it was L. It was nine L. Yes, thank you. So let's go ahead and vote. Uh, we have a motion on the floor to uh, uh, resolution 2020-104, resolution in support of repealing the Gallagher Amendment, also known as Amendment B on the state's uh, ballot. I voted today. So let's go ahead and vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Nay. All right. And they said it in unison, but they both said nay. So it passes five to two with council members Christensen and Peck against. All right, and then last but not least, I wanted to pull the G, was it G? Yeah, temporary prohibition on rental late fees due to COVID-19. I'm not gonna argue against it at this point, but I'm gonna actually move that we table this for two weeks until our next regular council meeting. Second. Second. All right, it's been moved and seconded. Um, we now have a motion on the floor. Let's go ahead and talk about the motion to, we're not talking about the ordinance itself now, we're talking about the motion to push it off two weeks so we have, so staff can bring back unintended consequences. All in favor say aye. 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 Sound okay? Aye. aye. Great. Raise your hand if it was aye. Mm -hmm. All right, raise your hand if it was opposed. Nay. All right, so the ordinance passes six to one with council member Christensen opposed. So yes, it will be back, but in two weeks. Looks like we have another phenomenal 2021 budget presentation. Um, good evening, Mayor and City Council, Teresa Malloy, budget manager. And this evening's um, budget conversation is final direction from you all, and then our second public hearing on the budget. What we are going to ask for direction on one of the items we're going to ask for direction on is the uh, remaining one-time funding that is available uh, that has not been allocated in the budget yet. Comment. So is this the time, uh, Teresa and Jim, that you would like motions on what to do with one-time funding? That is correct. Uh, make, one by, make motions one by one on all. I'm going to move that we approve fifty thousand dollars in one-time funding. Uh, to complete the library feasibility study. Second. Second. Do we have anybody? All right, well, let's just go ahead and vote on it. All in favor, say aye. 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 So, so the motion passes unanimously, all right? The, the, the motion would be to budget $50, $50 per kindergartner to, to follow through on our commitment to the 529 jump program. I'll second that. All right, let's just go ahead and vote. If must, there's hardcore discussion on this. All in favor, say aye. 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 Oh, opposed, say nay. All right, motion carries unanimously. Okay. So I'm gonna move that we add, we, we budget 250,000, an additional 150,000 in one-time funding for childcare and early childhood educate or early child learning programs in 2021. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. All right, the motion carries unanimously. Let's go ahead and move on to mayor and council comments. Council member Christensen and then council member Martin. Okay, everybody should have their ballots by now. Please vote. Just vote as soon as you can and vote. It's important. Um, yes, I, I'm always frustrated when I we, we can't engage with people in public invited to be heard that need to be engaged with. Um, and I would like to point out, um, first of all, that um, people who don't live in homes that are attached to Net Next Light can still um, call into city council meetings and speak using their cell phone. And there are not that many people who don't have one so uh, I, I just want to say, if you feel excluded from um, 
uh, from public invited to be heard, you shouldn't be. Um, because I think we can find a way to hear from you no matter who you are. All right, great. Dr. Waters. Thanks, Mayor Bagley. Um, we got, we received from uh, Michelle a couple of days ago, maybe it was yesterday, um, uh, an update on the status of recruitment and the application process for a resident interested in serving on boards and commissions. Uh, the, the people for whom we did none of that is us in terms of accountability, um, the clarity on what our responsibilities are as liaisons. And what, what, what provoked me for this was looking at the, at the fact that we're gonna recruit again. And then I asked Don, do we have, I'd never seen anything in my orientation about any written statement about what, what my responsibilities should be as a liaison. I've kind of made that up as I've gone along. Uh, then I asked if we'd ever collected any feedback from boards and commissions on what, what council members could do or do do to add value or could do to add value, or what do we do that is distracting? Uh, and that, that it would be um, prudent, in my mind, to put together some guidance, uh, some agreements uh, in terms of how we fulfill those responsibilities. Um, so as we think about interviewing folks and, we, and we've taken steps for their accountability, um, I'm one that thinks we ought to take a step or two in a direction of creating more accountability for us by collecting data, translating those data into some expectations or some agreements for ourselves so that there's some level of, I have no idea whether or not I'm doing the job of liaison in ways that are similar to other members of the council. If anybody else cares about that, um, but I'll think about that as we anticipate interviewing uh, folks who we'd like to serve and who would like to serve. Councilmember Peck. Um, thank you. Uh, I am actually going to reach out to the people who are having the Saturday vigils at Sixth and Main on both sides of the street. Um, it is it is the right of everybody to protest, but I am reaching out to ask you to respect each other's ideologies um, and your right to peacefully protest. And I would like to also um, remind the police department that as council members, we are neutral. We do not come in wearing anything that uh, addresses our ideologies or our philosophies. We are here to represent everybody and to not push our, de our ideologies. Um, let's all just live in this city peacefully and respect each other's points of view. Thank you. Great, can we have a motion to adjourn? Councilor Peck, do you wanna make that motion? I move to adjourn. I'll second it. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Look at that, what solidarity passes unanimously. <laughs>